People want that classic nostalgia that they used to come for, and I have great memories of it too. It became sort of a passion. I loved being in the kitchen. Always. I'd have to serve or make a crepe or do some dishes, and I found myself like hiding in the kitchen, sort of. I, I really liked that. I think it's magical, especially around the holidays. There's that sense of community and small town that you don't see as often. But when you do encounter those places, I think that kind of is very American and very special. Opening up here, the Diamond is the center of our little small town. It's the main street. The Capitol's always been here and it's always been something we've looked at. And before we moved in, I remember leaving the old restaurant at night and to get to my house, I didn't necessarily need to come past the Capitol to go home, but I would in the months leading up to our move just to like look at the building and kind of like visualize like, wow, like that's where we're gonna be. Like right now we're in this small little place that you can barely see unless you slow down and we're gonna be at the place that everybody sees. So that was definitely scary thinking about, but also really cool. Cause it's like how many times have I walked past this building and when I was a kid did I, I never thought I would be putting my life and, and my business in there. Some of the history, but also their personal experiences in this building. A lot of people have good memories, whether it's downstairs in the pipe room or you know their grandparents got married here or however many years ago and they remember seeing the floor. This is a place that is kind of part of everyone's life, their memories. They all have different experiences here. Somebody met their husband or wife or significant other down in the pipe room however many years ago and and they still like to come and, and have a drink down there together originally we opened a block down the street at 205 allegheny street it was a awesome little building and only had eight tables and we were there for two years when the people that were purchasing the Capitol Hotel approached me about moving my business up here what was enticing about this building was not only the history but the opportunity to have a liquor license and also gain um, another addition to the business, which would, was the pipe room. Just This is the old dumb waiter, and press this, and downstairs it'll buzz, and so the bartenders know to send the dumb waiter with food down. And whenever we started ripping up the carpet, we noticed the tile was still like very much intact and there. And I kind of was like, wait, let's let's halt the the plan. Let's see what's underneath all of it and might have been a risky move to you know <laughs> rip everything up and not know what was underneath but it turned out that underneath four and a half tons of concrete was like this floor just almost how it is right now the ceilings were exactly the same like the light fixtures everything was already here it's such a, a great building that you know over time they made some some changes to but we just kind of wanted to take it back to some of the original stuff I am the type of person that loves so many things, whether it's food or music. I kind of have a, a weird width of, of things that I like. So it's kind of the same thing when it comes to the menu. It's not one specific style. It's a bunch of things that we've either tried out as a special and have really stuck. Wanted to combine both worlds of the community I love, the farming aspect, which I like. You know, we have a good relationship with Blue Barn Farm in Williamsburg. During the summer, you know, my little Subaru was full of produce every Tuesday that I go and pick up from, from there. This is like the last arugula of the season from Blue Barn Farm. Yeah, almost. I think she has one more uh, harvest left, she said. And I get bread from a local baker every week. It's usually between 30 and 50 loaves of, of fresh bread, so my car smells really good for a little while. Bread is something we always have, uh, so that's that's a, a local product. We'll, any sandwich you get will be on that bread. And then the cooking that I learned in school and in other restaurants, bringing it all together and, and having that influence from so many different people and places. I have a Brazilian seafood stew that's on the menu for the evening, something that I have while I was in Brazil and you know it's a, one of those classic dishes. Feeling like you're at home or feeling welcome is a big thing for me even still now. Going to family dinner at my mom's house is like you go in and it's cozy and you relax and connect with the people you love and I think 
For me, more than the food, that's like the most important part. That's what I want it to feel like here. My mom was born and raised here. Her um, parents owned a farm, lots of different animals, and my mom rode horses and that sort of thing. Um, so always kind of lived in Hollidaysburg. That farm was actually called Mayfield. My grandfather had named it Mayfield. I think what's cool about Hollidaysburg is the sense of community, light up night, like the whole town's out there and people are bringing their relatives and the relatives from out of town think it's just so cool and special. I know my cousins were here and they were like, this is kind of like Gilmore Girls. And I actually grew up on, on Walnut Street. I remember either standing on the porch watching a parade or even from my bedroom window. And then being in high school, I was in the marching band. So being part of the parades and, and now as a business owner, you know, leaving the kitchen for that brief moment to see the parade happening and still getting to experience it, you know, as a 28 year old versus an eight year old, you know, it's something I've always been kind of obsessed with. I know it's weird. A lot of people like, are like, oh, I'm from a small little town somewhere but I've always had great pride in Hollidaysburg. Not many people get to, to have those types of experiences in their towns. Mm -hmm.